Hey, what's up? Tony from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com and we're going to be doing a quick vehicle inspection on this Mini here. Quick exterior, frame, engine, and interior. Really, really quick. Uh, just running down uh, the points really quick, alright? So first thing you want to do is overall, when you're looking at the car, um, how do the body panels look as far as paint match wise? Are they even? Okay, that's the first step you want to know because if they're uneven, you have a darker quarter panel or a darker door for some reason, uh, you know that it's been repainted. Okay, uh, number two, check your body alignments. Right, how do these body alignments match up with the other side? And right, are they even? All right, you check your gapping along the front here. Um, on this side, this is the hood, okay? On another car, you'll have a different kind of hood, uh, but this is basically our hood here. All right, so you wanna match all that, match all this up, feel it with your hand. Does it feel smooth or does it? do you have a big gouge between uh, body panels, right? Check your door. Is this aligned pretty well? How do all the lines look? Look really good. This is, looks really good on this car here, okay? Check your door. When you pop your door, does the door sag or not? Okay, no, it doesn't sag. Uh, some older cars, you'll notice that the hinges go bad. When you pop it, the door will basically sag and it'll ride along this rail here um, when closing it. You know, the door will just pop back up. Um, but this looks pretty good, okay? Same thing, you check your body panels, check the colors. Uh, how does everything look? How does the gapping look on this side? compared to this side. Is it even? Is it closer on one side? If it's, if it's closer to one side, hey, maybe it's been in an accident. Then you could look further, right? Uh, you open up your trunk. Oh, I gotta go and unlock it. Um, your tailpipe. Is your tailpipe misaligned? Does it look like it's pushed to one side or another side? Uh, it could be an indicator of it's been in a, a rear accident and it's been bent a little bit, but this looks pretty fine to me, right? Um, another huge thing is check your gapping of your wheel wells and your body panels, okay? What I mean by that is right in here, okay? Like I'll measure this, two fingers can fit right up in here, okay? I'll, I'll kind of have an idea by the bottom of this uh, light here, reflector light. Two fingers, we'll go on the other side. How does it look? Right, two fingers, perfect. If it's like one finger, um, then you know, hey, maybe the side's been hit and uh, it hasn't been properly uh, fixed or aligned. You know what I mean? Um, another one would be in here um, to show a more severe damage. If the wheel's been pushed back, if the lower control arm's been bent or the strut's been bent, um, you'll have uh, a tighter gap in here versus your other side, right? You wanna do the same with the front. Front's also very important. Same thing, you'd wanna check it. Right here, I got about three, yeah, about two and eh, about three finger gap, right? We'll do the other side, I will check it. Same with the back here, uh, because if, if it's been in a front collision, right, and hit bad, most times your strut, uh, the shock, the strut, or your lower control arm would be bent. Sometimes the hub will even be bent um, in, you know, bad situations. And the areas in here would basically be uh, be different. You know, you're, you're gapping. You'd have maybe two fingers will go here and three fingers on the other side. You know, you'll notice that the gapping is really different. So check for stuff like that. Um, we're gonna go ahead, pop the hood right now and So what we're gonna basically do now is pop the hood. Um, on the minis here, the hood latch is on the passenger side, believe it or not, pretty cool. So we're gonna pop the hood. And we're gonna do a engine inspection, uh, as well as our frame inspection. Uh, we're gonna check out our rear floor pan and um, basically go over the whole inside of this thing. Make sure all your buttons work. Uh, make sure, you know, when you unlock, Everything unlocks. Make sure all your power windows work on both sides. You know. Also check this. See, this is this mini is a little different. You got all your controls right here in the middle, um, but you also want to check the power locks on doors if they're on this side too. You know, um, on this side too, on the passenger and driver side door. Here on the mini, it's just you just got one universal one right in the middle of the car. Check your hazards. 
your lights. You know, you want to step on the brake, uh, make sure your rear lights work. If you bring somebody with you or have the owner get in here and do all that uh, while you inspect the lights, right? Uh, left signal, right signal. Um, your moon roof, make sure your moon roof works. Make sure your dome lights work. Um, basically just check out all your electrical inside the radio and also another huge thing is check out the uh, your pedals okay if the car says you know looks like it has a uh, 50,000 miles on it but your pedals look heavily worn especially your brake or if it's a five-speed your clutch um, if it's like worn really bad on one side uh, most likely there's more mileage on the car than what the odometer says so be careful about that and really check your pedals out if your pedals look new and the pedals look good uh, you know then it's it's more of a chance that the car has been driven lightly and not heavily abused okay so that's a pretty huge thing right there check your uh, your pedals all right so that's the basic uh, interior inspection. Let's go ahead and finish checking out the uh, inside. What you want to check for is uh, damages in the floor pan. I would basically open up your floor plan like this, right? Your floor pan and check for damage back here. If the car has been hit, you'd probably see a little bit of wrinkling in here because under here is your frame. Also go under the car. Uh, to check your frame out too. If there's any kinks or crinkles in it, you know it's been hit and it's been messed with. But if it looks fine like this, uh, you don't have a problem. It's all good. Okay, it's a huge thing. Let's go ahead and look under the hood quick and uh, we're all good. Okay, so when you open up the hood, um, basically, boom, you could see your frame right here. Okay, take a look at it from the side. Is there any imperfections? Do you, do you see any crinkles in it? How does your, your, your seams look up in here? The weld marks looks pretty good. Um, you could check out your bumper support here, right? It's, it's basically the support in back of your bumper cover. This is your plastic bumper cover. If your bumper support in the back, it looks good. And we'll also check the frame out on this side. Frame looks good. Doesn't look like it's been tampered with or hit, right? And to get a better view, you basically want to go underneath the car and check it out. So that, you know, it looks all good. You want to check your oils, make sure your oils aren't milky uh, or anything. Um, check your water, make sure your water isn't milky or have any oil splots in it uh, because if you do then that means maybe you know you kind of have an internal leak, blown head gasket um, and stuff like that. Okay, check your air filter, that looks all good. And uh, that's basically it as far as engine and transmission. This is a, a manual so you're not going to be able to check your automatic transmission. But if it's an automatic then you want to make sure your car is running uh, when you check your levels in the fluid of your transmission. Your oil, you want to check that when the car is off. Alright, so basically, you know, you pull your oil, you clean your stick first and then you re-dip it, make sure your levels are fine and just make sure it's not milky. Because if it's milky then uh, maybe a sign of an engine problem. Yeah, this car is too low to look underneath. Alright, so the car only has 27,500 miles. Uh, it's a 2004. Runs excellent. AC is cold. Check your AC when the car is running. All right, turn it off. Uh, you also want to check your exhaust. All right, if you have some type of white or bluish smoke coming out of the back, you know that you're burning oil. Uh, but if not, then you're perfectly fine. If you see a little bit of water coming out of your exhaust sometimes, that's just condensation. Uh, it's normal. Don't worry about it too much unless you have like a ton of water coming out, but it's probably not going to happen that often. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on car inspections. Uh, to learn more about flipping cars, uh, check out howtobuyandsellyourcars.com right now to get your 17-page bikini report. Um, it'll tell you how I flip cars and how you could do that in your part-time and make a nice side income flipping cars to profit. I reveal so much more in my course and in my other videos. Uh, I hope to see you inside. Have a great day. Ciao.